Well, as Donald Trump moves towards securing the Republican nomination, there are still a few Republican members of Congress who have been holding off on endorsing him. Yeah, earlier this week, CBS Miami's Jim Defiti spoke to one of those members, South Florida Congresswoman Maria Elvira Salazar, to see where she stands regarding the former president. Are you going to endorse Donald Trump? I am going to, of course. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to, uh, to talk to him. And my issue, it's immigration, and they know it. And I am waiting to have a conversation with the president. So let's talk about because, that for a second. Uh, because, yeah, immigration is very important, and immigration is important for both parties. And both parties have done a dismal job when it comes to so it. That's you, why I so wrote you, the dignity law. So when you talk to Donald Trump, yes. are you going to ask him what he meant when he said that illegal immigration is poisoning the blood of our nation? Do you agree with that? Is illegal immigration poisoning the blood of our nation? Hey, my parents, first gener I'm first generation Cuban. Uh, my parents were political refugees. I don't think so, but I do know that what we're having right now at the border cannot happen. You cannot have eight million undocumented that you really do not know who those people are coming into uh, into the country. But the language, it has to be the language, borderly. The language of poisoning the blood of our country. Are you troubled by that language? I think those aren't the proper words to use. No. Okay. Um, in Iowa, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene, or actually in Iowa, Donald Trump said, following the Eisenhower model, we will carry out the largest domestic deportation operation in American history. Referring to the Eisenhower and, model. And Do you know what the Eisenhower model was called? 1952, of course, but reality it is, it was, it, I understand. But Operation you know, Wetback. Listen, listen. I understand that you want me to say that Trump is really bad for immigration, but let me tell you something. I am very upset with the Dems because the Democrats have had for 30 years the opportunity to do good to my community. And you can see more of Jim's interview with Congresswoman Salazar this Sunday at 8.30 on Facing South Florida.